It is indeed an honor and a privilege to be here to celebrate this wonderful tribute to my friend, Peter Cullen. I remember when I first met, no, 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 when I first heard Peter. It was back in the early 70s, and I was sitting at home watching television, The Sonny and Cher Show, which was a very popular variety show back in the day. And at the beginning of every show, they had this animated silver orb that would come whizzing across the screen, and you'd hear these incredible sound effects, noises, impressions, voices. And I thought to myself, wow, this is an incredibly huge, talented cast. That huge, incredibly talented cast was one person, Peter Cullen. Now, it wasn't long after that that we did our first show together, Mighty Man and Yuck. Peter was the superhero Mighty Man, and I was his homely talking dog, Yuck. <laughs> well, Peter was so facile with his voices that he literally did all the guest roles. So we did everything, which means when they brought in catering, guess who got all the food? <laughs> and Peter, to show you what a classy guy he was, he ate the fruit and gave me the donuts and the eclairs. <laughs> Remember that? That's when I knew this was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> now, I must admit I was a bit of a pest, and um, I, well, you know, being a master, I had to try voices on him. So I remember one time I said, Peter, what do you think of this dog? Peter turned to me and he said, Frank, that is not a dog. This is a dog. <laughs> you should hear his Canadian bullfrog. In 1984, things changed. Peter and I went to war. We did Transformers. <laughs> Once again, Peter was the superhero Optimus Prime, and I was his arch enemy, the evil Megatron. Well, that was 40 years ago, and thanks to Mr. Cullen, that franchise continues to this day stronger than ever. Transformers and Optimus Prime have become legendary, and Peter's iconic performance has made him not only part of the culture, but the undisputed and irreplaceable leader of the Autobots. But it's not just his talent or that magnificent voice that we recognize. It's who he is. His honesty, his loyalty, his passion for his work, care for his friends, and his deep respect for the audience. That's what's brought him here tonight. 